So guys, boom, welcome back to another episode of Juice Made TV. And today we have something quite exciting to talk about. Now, I don't know if you've been living under a rock. I don't know if you've been keeping up with Sharif Cooper in the headlines, in the G League, in, the, in college, Auburn. Guys, I don't know if you've been keeping up with the man Sharif Cooper, but I'm not even gonna lie. It looks like this man Sharif Cooper, he's knocking on the door and is trying to make a name for himself in the NBA G League. And if an NBA team does not sign this man today, tomorrow, the next day, or the day after that, guys, we gotta go on strike. I mean, 42 points. 42 points in his latest game in the NBA G League. I mean, I feel like what more can this man Sharif Cooper do? 42 points, shooting 73% from the field, going 14 for 19 from the field, and this man has led them to an eight or nine game winning streak. <sighs> Guys, like I said, what more does this man have to do? I mean, just take a look at this man's stats. 17 points a game, four rebounds a game seven assists a game one steal and 0.3 blocks and like i said this man sharif cooper he's led his team to have an eight game winning streak and the way that he's been setting up the offense for his team putting the ball in the hole in a multitude of ways inside the paint within the mid range at the three point line this man sharif cooper is an offensive genius and the level of disrespect that this man is getting and all the doubters that saying he's too short to play in the league guys i i honestly do not understand and I'm telling you, there's a lot of NBA teams in the NBA that can use a player like Sharif Cooper who can at least just come off the bench, give them a spark that they need. And even just to add to that, not even just his play on the court, just the person that this man Sharif Cooper is. He has a ton of fans from all over the country and he's definitely a fan favorite player, a player that I know people are gonna be tuned in to watch on TV. Literally just imagine this man on the Pelicans or imagine him coming off the bench behind a guy like John Morant. Shoot, the Lakers, guys, look at what the Lakers is doing. They need a point guard. This man, Shri Cooper, can be the answer to that team and that franchise. And I'm telling you, like I said, I'm just using the Lakers as an example, but there's a lot of NBA teams, in my personal opinion, that can use the skill set and the play style that Shari Cooper definitely does possess. Like I said, he's averaging about 17 points a game. He's doing his thing in the G League, but let's take a closer look on exactly how he's doing in these games and some arguments that I feel like some doubters or some naysayers may say about this man, Sharif Cooper. Now, despite him averaging close to 17 points a game, if you do look at his eight game winning streak that he's currently on with his team, some may say that he can be a little inconsistent when it does come to putting the ball in the hole. I mean, like I said, he did drop 42 points in this previous game but if you take a look at the games before that six points the game before that 18 points the game before that seven the game before that 24 11 you can kind of see the inconsistency that some may say about his game but at the end of the day it's all leading to wins and he's also affecting the game in other ways besides actually scoring the ball i mean just look at the game where he did drop seven points against the cleveland charge seven points but he also dropped 11 assists in that game, affecting the game in other ways on the floor. 18 points, 10 assists, 11 points, seven assists. And like I said, you can kind of see that despite him not putting the ball in the hole at a consistent rate, there's a lot of potential with a player like Sharif Cooper. It's pretty evident that he can score the ball. And like I said, he's scoring the ball in a multitude of ways, in the paint, mid-range, three-point line. There's a lot of people are saying that he's too short to play in the league, yet he's scoring majority of his points actually near the paint. Like I said, it's kind of similar to John Morant, but Sharif Cooper, in my opinion, he kind of does it in a smoother way if you're really sitting down and watching this man play. But, but like I said, I really don't know what more this man has to do trust me i do get the inconsistent play at times when it does come to putting the ball in the hole but like i said there's a lot of potential and you can work with a guy like sharif cooper and there's a lot of nba teams that can use a guy like this man sharif also as you guys know he does play for the atlanta hawks his g league team a lot of people are also saying why don't the hawks just move him up to be on the main roster i don't know what's up with the hawks his coach i don't know why he doesn't want to play a full 12-man roster but there's been reports numerous times that this man mcmillan has clearly said that he only wants to play a nine-man rotation and like i said they have so many rosters open roster spots on that franchise and i really don't understand why you wouldn't want to develop a player like sharif cooper even if you don't want to use him you can kind of develop him use him as a trading piece and get a good player in return that you can trade for feel like can benefit your team like i said they're only playing with nine players on their team and just looking at the backups that's in front of a guy like Sharif Cooper, DeLon Wright, Lou Williams, Skylar Mays. These are just some of the players that Sharif Cooper is also 
fighting for that spot and of course like i said trey young i'm not expecting sharif cooper to start for the hawks but i feel like you can at least develop your rookies they don't even develop none of their other rookies they barely even played this season and like i said i don't know how you can develop a rookie expect him to play good if you're not going to allow him to even play earlier on in the season mid-season and kind of prepare for those moments or like i said just use them as a trading piece and just allow them to develop as overall nba players just look at the atlanta hawks's nba record at the time of the recording of this video the hawks are the 10th seed in the eastern conference and they won 38 games and they lost 37 games but like i said i'm not going to expect them to just plug in sharif cooper in this specific moment in time especially since they are playing for that play-in tournament but earlier on in the season you can put Sharif Cooper somewhere in the lineup give him 10 to 15 minutes in that game and allow him to develop but like I said the coach not really a coach to develop those types of rookies I get it but like I said I still think Sharif Cooper has what it takes to play in the league overall what do you guys think of Sharif Cooper what do you guys think of him playing in the NBA G League do you think that he deserves a spot in the NBA do you think he should be on the Hawks's main roster what NBA team do you want to see Sharif Cooper on is also is this 42 performance is it a fluke what do you think about that game what do you think about sharif cooper's overall game guys just comment down below and let's get a great basketball conversation started guys if you made it to the end please make sure you do me a quick little favor smash that like button guys it helps the channel out in so many ways you guys have no idea if you guys want more nba content just like this make sure you smash that like button double check make sure you're subscribed to the channel we're on the road to 20,000 subscribers we're actually creeping 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 up to 18,000 subscribers as well so make sure y'all help me help the channel do what you got to do it literally takes two seconds just tap that red button follow me on instagram at juice made who's with the extra s at the end i love every single one of you guys if you guys watch my videos and yeah with all that being said guys thank you for watching and it's been another episode of juice made tv peace